What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Nostrina1. Welcome back to more Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker Stealth Walkthrough S Ranking, of course. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this time to, uh, to get tortured. Every Metal Gear Solid game always has a good torture scene, so I'm sure my hand is going to be pretty tired after this. But hopefully you guys enjoy. Again, don't forget to comment and subscribe. It is go time. Snake, I hope you can hear me. Word is you've been captured by Strangelove. I'm guessing they confiscated your gear, but I know you've still got something left. Search your memory, Snake. Any word from Snake? I can't get through. Strangelove must still have him. No. We just have to trust the boss and wait. For how long? Amanda, you're cute when you're angry. But please calm down. He's prepared for situations like this. With what? They'll find whatever he has on him. No, they won't. Because this is something a lot more personal than equipment. And Snake never would have gotten rid of it. I didn't defect. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. <laughs> Rise and shine. Coldman's greed does not concern me. I'm only interested in one thing. The truth. I'm a scientist, an AI developer. But not an AI myself. I'm a scientist, and as a scientist, I find this distasteful. You understand? I am a scientist. And I expect answers that make sense. Now, what do you know? Your boss defected from the US, taking a Davy Crockett with her, and used it to launch a nuclear strike on Soviet territory. That much I know from the CIA's official debriefing. Did she defect or not? Answer me! Did she or did she not die for her country? Sold us out. My orders were to take care of her. Liar! I want to know the truth! Brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, but what I don't know is your motive. Why would a hero, loyal to the end, betray her country? What really happened? What did you see? She betrayed more than just her country. She betrayed me, too. Then how do you explain that bandana? Why keep a memento of a traitor? What are you talking about? And what about that scar? Don't tell me you have the same scars by sheer coincidence. Don't touch me! Hm. Decorating your body with her memory. Rather effeminate, if you ask me. <sighs> Answer me! <clears throat> <clears throat> She sacrificed her life for America, didn't she? Sacrificed all for a country that cared nothing for soul or for her dignity. And you... <coughs> yes, I do hate you. But even you must understand how I feel. I have a right to know what she died for. Why won't you tell me? You're no longer one of Washington's lapdogs. You have no moral obligation to your country. Answer me! 
Would you see your beloved boss brought back to life? Then say it. Say she died for America. That she remained true to the end. Gave her life for the country that betrayed her time and again. No. That woman was a traitor. Why? For what purpose? She went to her grave, cursing her country. Why? Who is it? What are you protecting? I'm not helping you finish that thing. Face it. The boss is dead. Whatever's inside that machine, it is her. I'm raising the voltage. The next one might kill you! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We actually have two methods to get out of here. One is this. But we're not actually going to be using that method because we have the ID card we got from the cinematic in the previous episode. So this is the fastest way. The jigsaw, you'd have to, like, it's a little bit tougher to use. Uh, you have to rotate the sticks, not the sticks, but the, the left and right back and forth. So that you're able to do it. And there you go. There are prisoners on this level too, if you, um, I'm not sure that you can actually take them out. And it's that easy. The, obviously, the hardest part is <laughs> doing the torture scene, pressing that uh, Y button as fast as you can. Of course, that's what's great about all the Metal Gear Solid games, the torture scene, you always have to do that. Except Metal Gear Solid 3, you don't have to do that, but um, yeah. So, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I know this was a... They're all pretty short videos, and if they are long, it's mostly because there's a lot of briefings. So if, because of that, you know, I apologize. You just have to understand this is Metal Gear Solid, and it's also meant for the portable system. So this was meant for, I got five minutes to to play a mission, and then I got to go back to doing something else. That's what the portable genre is kind of for. So um, again, you know, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that, because I see a lot of people in the comments are always like, you know, skip, you know, half the video is cutscenes or whatever. Well, that's just, that's Metal Gear Solid. You got to get used to that. Uh, and that's why I love it. I absolutely, absolutely love that fact, because I love a good story in my game. And I know a lot of you out there uh, feel the same. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it, and we're going to move on. We don't have too much left to complete the normal mode. So hopefully you guys are enjoying, and we'll see you next time. Peace out, bitches. Snake. Yeah. It's good to hear your voice again. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, you okay? Yeah. My lungs taste like charcoal. No smoking for you for a while, huh? Uh, I'll be fine. I better get moving. Nice work. What's the situation with you? Everyone okay? Yeah, but there's a slight problem. I can't get a hold of Paz. Paz? I thought the professor was looking after her. So did I. Here's the deal. I started thinking, and I sent someone over to the school the professor mentioned. <sighs> and the school doesn't exist. No, it exists, but Paz has been a no-show. The person at the school said neither the professor nor Paz had been seen there in quite some time. Coleman knew about us. We've been marked by the CIA. The KGB and Paz brought us into all this. Coleman must know about them, too. You think Coleman's got them? No. 
Remember, Galvez isn't some pencil pusher. Yeah. The KGB will have eyes on Colvin night and day, too. Which could mean they knew what the CIA would try to do and are just staying out of sight. Let's hope so. See what you can get out of the KGB, cuz. All right. Back to work. I better get moving. Snake, we haven't detected any signs that Peace Walker's been activated. At least from above ground. It's still in the hangar you were in earlier. This time, it's really our last chance. Destroy that AI. On my way. Alright, so I decided at the end of this video that I would show you a little bit of the mother base system that I've been building up. We're still at the process where we don't have a lot of big, big names. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few things just to, to whet your appetites because I know you've been wanting to see a little bit of this and what I do when I go and I create this. So uh, we did a uh, combat operation, so we're actually going to check out some outer ops in this video as well. Um, we're just gonna, I'm just going to attach it to the, the torture scene video just because it was already a short video anyways. So let's look at our people. So we have some new people. All right, their stats are still pretty low. Um, so what I've been doing, as you can see, I'm going down here. Uh, on the very, very far end, that is our um, intel, the very far right. The second to right, which looks like a pill, is our uh, medical um, medical team. And then, of course, we have the mess hall with the fork and the knife, the R&D team, and the combat units. So I see that this guy, let me go to him. This guy has a, a decent amount of intel. He's a C rank on intel. So I want to put him in the intel unit because we need more C ranks. Uh, so there you go. You can see that we're actually over by one now. So we need to go over to the intel team. We got Hideo leading the charge. Uh, we'll go down to the very bottom. You can see that these guys are just horrible. So we don't need this guy anymore. There's no way he's going to get better than what he is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and discharge him. You're fired. And that way we're able to get someone new in that has a way better system and we only lose very little. So we're still gaining in that turn. So we're still building our level slightly. So I pretty much do this for every single person you see. These combat guys seem to be okay. So we're going to put them in the combat unit. We're going to replace them with the guys that are severely, severely low. Which you can still see that these guys that I have in here, he's really low. Um, we're going to do it with this guy because this guy just has low stats all around. So we'll discharge him. You're fired. And we'll do the same thing. These guys still have way better stats than um, than a lot of other people. So we'll get rid of three people because they're they're all pretty good. So now we'll go to combat, and we'll get rid of only the ones that just have low and everything. You're fired. And we can do this faster by selecting more than one. Uh, this, this, or actually, yeah, this guy's pretty low and everything, and this guy's pretty low and everything, so that should be the three that we need to worry about. Yes, it takes away some of our, uh, GMP, but at the same time, it gives us some, uh, some better stats. Now, if you look, this guy is actually better at R&D, so why don't we take him out of here, and we're gonna put him in R&D. And then, of course, we're going to take someone out. So this is kind of what I do. Um, but as you can see, he's actually would still be the worst in R&D. So there's actually no, no, no purpose in this. Um, yeah. So there's really, really no purpose whatsoever. This this guy is he's he's got low stats everywhere. But this guy has even lower stats in other places. So we're gonna switch him back over to the combat unit so uh, understandably this is the kind of things that you have to go through when you're thinking about all this you got to get rid of a lot of people you can see we're full totally full so now it's it's all about just trying to analyze people and trying to get season above we need season above that's all we need anything lower than that is just going to hurt us um, in the long run we want to get our levels we need we still need to get our levels up more and more so as far as the weapons and items that I have, as you can see, we have still a lot of things that we can do. I haven't really been doing much of this because I only use a certain amount of weapons, so therefore that's why you see I have so much GMP, because I don't use all of these weapons. I mean, I only use a certain amount. Uh, as far as items go, right now we're still doing uh, Fulton Level 4, which is awesome. So we almost got that done. Uh, you want to see some of the mechs that we have. We have uh, three armored vehicles, we have two tanks, 
We do have a helicopter, but it just finished a mission that we're going to show you. And let's go take a look at that. So this is the Outer Ops menu. This is really cool. It's kind of like a little mini game, so you guys get to see how this played out. I don't know how these guys did, but we're going to find out. Let's do it. So as you can see, it just plays out like a battle between these guys and these guys. I like to strategically place certain people in certain elements that I know are going to be able to take care of the job. You can see the helicopter will be able to take these guys out probably pretty easily. Uh, and the rest of my guys are still some of the top guys. I usually use the top 10 people and then I'll use the next top 10 people to try to get everybody up as much as I can. But then after this is done, I'll show you exactly how you do that. This one guy left and we're still at 90% so it's pretty good. Yeah, that guy's dead. Alright, end of battle. So, and then of course our guys get higher and higher, and you unlock a lot more things. Uh, popular food in Japan. Except we got a new volunteer. So, alright, let's go into this system here. You can see that we have a new one that we're going to get ready for. Eliminate the armored vehicle unit. It's a C plus level. Now, what I've noticed is that the helicopters and stuff like that, they don't actually replenish. Um... I'm not really sure if there's a way to replenish them, but you just go in here and you try to put whoever you can So from what I've noticed that the the main troops they do replenish so we've got two tanks So we're gonna offer another tank here gonna add another mech unit just in case we're gonna get this new KPZ 70 uh, This is something that we just acquired because I did an extra op mission and I 100% stealthed it So I, did, I was able to take back the vehicle 100% uh, so now we have an extra vehicle in there so we'll leave these guys in there and we'll go to launch attack so after we do a mission or an extra op this mission will be done we'll come back and we'll do the same thing that you just saw uh, as far as anything else goes we did get one extra person in Mr. Shark Ray he's got a C in uh, looks like sick bay or the medical uh, area so let's go take him to the medical team and he's going to be able to level us up We'll go to the bottom, and we'll check out who has the least amount of stats and all this stuff. <laughs> Dingo and the baby! Um, you can see that this guy has way better... I mean, sometimes you have to take whatever you can into certain areas, and this is like one of those guys that I gotta re-evaluate and put him in the combat unit, obviously, which would better suit this. Chicken Grunt, he's... I mean, there's... Goodbye. <laughs> I like some of the names. Uh, they had Fire. Golden Eye as one of the names too. It was pretty cool. So Mr. Dingo, he is going back over to combat, and his combat level is a C. So put him in combat. We'll go back over to the combat team and anything that's really well. I try to get the ones that just have low stats all around. Um, like say this guy has low stats all around, even though these guys are worse. Uh, let's see what I want to do. That one, he has somewhat good medic, uh, or excuse me, food, but we're okay on food. Uh, we don't need research, I mean, yeah, so we're going to go with Hawk. So we'll get rid of him, even though it takes away some You're GMP, fired. it's still adding more in the process because we got a bigger level. So that's pretty much all that stuff is, and there's also delivery, receive gifts from other players, uh, you can recruit people. Um, yeah, I'll show you that. Uh, so we'll make this a little bit longer of a video, I guess, for you guys. As I wanted to show off some more of the stuff that we're doing here. Remember, this is a first time playthrough. This isn't me going back through the missions, so that's why uh, everything is still very low. And we haven't unlocked a lot of um, huh. people Looks yet. like our reputation is spreading. We've got battle-hardened veterans from all kinds of places trying to join our army. But they insist on testing your skills to see if you're the real deal before they'll join. Let's put these arrogant upstarts in their place. Take them down using hand-to-hand -hand strikes or CQC. If you can knock them all out within the time limit, they'll join us, becoming powerful allies. Don't disappoint them, boss. Show them what you got. Now, as far as this goes, there is no, like, uh, S-ranking or anything like that. It's just doing it under this certain amount of time. Um, it's random. I'm not sure if we'll have one guy, two guys, maybe three. I don't know. But it's a good way to recruit some, uh, it's Reporting just one guy. Duty. So it's really as simple as this. One more time. Get up. 
I've had enough, boss. Nope, he wants one more. You win this one. That's pretty much all it is to that. Uh, he might not even have good skills, but it is a way to recruit some other people. You can see there's really no S rank. But yeah, that's it. So we're going to see what this guy is. Sometimes they could be put over to the the brig if they're hostile. Like some people you pick up during missions and they're hostile. They'll go over to the brig for a few days and then eventually they will come back and you'll be able to add them to your list. But let's go ahead and see if this guy has anything that we could use whatsoever. We're about ready to head up on Peace Walker now. So we've got another big battle on our hands. Hedgehog is the guy that we recruited. And he's got some good, um, some good combat. We'll see if we can add this guy. We'll see how he stacks up to these other guys here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of him. You're fired. We lose some GMP, but we gain, you know, people with bigger stats, and that's the whole point. So we got a huge combat team that we need to keep building up. And of course, I use these guys for the extra ops. But you'll see, like the first 20 guys have. Uh, some really, really, really good stats. Now, you see, this means that they're over and outer ops right now, so um, we can't use them. But if you look in our combat unit, you'll see that uh, some guys have really, really high, like those guys. These guys actually have higher stats than Snake himself, as far as life and psych goes. So you want to build up your, your combat guys. And if you leave these guys in the field, they'll stay there. You have to unequip them from the outer ops menu to bring them back. Uh, but right now, they're just building more stats and stuff like that, so we're getting them higher and higher. You can see that our highest guy right now, he's got uh, a B. Uh, we got a three Bs and some Cs and stuff. I'm trying to get rid of all the Ds uh, as much as possible. And of course, especially all the Es, which I don't think there should be too many Es left. There's a few. <laughs> There's a lot of Es. So we still got a lot more to do. There's a lot of just going around here. And as you can see, even when going to the R&D, if you see guys that have, you know, combat skills that are pretty good, like this guy has a combat skill that's really, really, really good, but you still need to put some guys in R&D so that uh, you're able to research and develop things. It's, it's kind of a, it's a big process, a long process. It takes a lot of time, and it can be bo boring to show you guys. So I want to show you a little bit of that, but just know that I am doing everything that I need to do to make sure that I can get better equipment. Um, here is our Metal Gear section. Man, I'm really making this into a long video. Uh, right now, the status is we don't have enough parts to actually even build it yet. So we've got um, 8 mobility parts, 13 sense parts, 5 attack parts, and 3 control parts. As you can see, we don't have enough to actually create the Metal Gear. Um, you can customize the parts, main and optional parts. You can see that uh, we're 100% on this, but we have to get the main parts set first before we can do that. So if you go to main parts, you'll see that we only have three out of five scraps. So when we're defeating these bosses, we need to make sure that we hit them in certain areas and get them loose. That way, whenever we actually grab the units from the pod, uh, that we grab enough to start being able to build our units. So you can see that uh, this one right here. So we need to hit some legs on, say, the next Peace Walker battle that we do in order to grab some scrap, I guess. And we still need a lot on the head parts, so... Hopefully uh, that's a little, you know, motivation for you guys into playing this game. There's, it's a lot of deep customization, a lot of really, really fun stuff. So, again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, of course, and we will see you on the next one. Peace out. Bitches.